And thanks for inviting us in tonight at 6 o'clock. Indiana now has its first round of this COVID vaccine and Hoosiers are already lining up to take it. Yeah, and the first doses arrived this morning and these healthcare workers in Fort Wayne were the first to get it. Over the next few weeks, we will see more and more stories of people taking the vaccine, but not everyone is sold. That's right. The state of Indiana is seeing a lot of uncertainty among minority Hoosiers who aren't yet sure about the safety of the, this vaccine, but now there's a plan to bring people peace of mind. And Sandra Chapman shares the new outreach effort to spread facts to some of our most vulnerable communities. The first vaccines are now rolling out, but healthcare experts say nationwide only 58% of African Americans and just 66% of Hispanics plan to take the shots, even though minority groups are dying at disproportionately high rates from COVID. The concerns are rooted in historic failures, like the Tuskegee experiment. Marion County Health Director Dr. Virginia Kane worked with the CDC to address ethical research. We've built in a lot of safeguards now for research that's been done as a result of the Tuskegee experiment. Still, there's mistrust. It's why the Indiana Minority Health Coalition is teaming up with the Indiana Black Expo and sending out this survey statewide to ask racial and ethnic minority communities about their willingness to take a COVID vaccine. The survey wants to know what they're most concerned about, safety, effectiveness, cost, or the number and types of shots recommended. And just as important, who do they trust to provide critical information? So it's so important to know you know, where those gaps are, what kind of education the people want. Dr. Kane says there was a greater level of minority involvement in the COVID trials. A lot of people are not aware that there was an African-American female who was the lead scientist on the NIH vaccine technology platform. She also says a number of minority health professionals and researchers participated, like Dr. Valerie Fitzhugh of Rutgers University. In a tweet, Dr. Fitzhugh, the interim chair of pathology, immunology, and laboratory medicine writes, for me, this was the most profound reason to join a trial. I wanted to be able to show my community that the vaccine is safe and that this is a step we can all take to help curb the spread of COVID-19. For us to endorse, these vaccines that we have to make sure there's a significant number of people of color involved in the trials. Now the work shifts to surveys, town halls and radio call in shows to ensure those who need the vaccine can make informed decisions on whether to take it.